Welcome back. In this video, we're going to make four small squares to use in our origami experiments today. So to start, we're going to make a square. Um, we're going to take the top edge of our paper and fold it down to the side to make a square. So start by creating a triangle by just folding your paper over like that. Don't crease it, just leave it rounded. And then around this edge to the side until it meets up exactly with that edge and that it's parallel here. Then take your bone folder and crease right along the edge of that diagonal line so you have a nice strong crease. Then take the bottom edge here and trim that bottom edge off just like this. And this bottom edge we're going to set aside because we might use it later in something else that we do today. So take that bottom edge and set it aside. Now you should have this triangle or if you open it up you'll have a square with a diagonal line down there. Now <clears throat> to get started we're going to make four small squares. So basically we're going to take this right hand edge and fold it over to the left hand edge until those two lines here are parallel. Hold it and then crease along that line so you have a rectangle. Good. Now that rectangle opening up, this should be a valley fold. Now we're going to take the bottom edge and fold it up to the top edge using a valley fold. So it will look like this. And this will give you a square again. Once you have that square, unfold it and you'll see that you have a vertical line and a horizontal line. What you're going to do is right along those lines, you are going to cut your paper. Okay, so if I take and just dot these lines on here, you're going to cut on that dotted line, and you're going to cut here on this horizontal line. Okay, so take your scissors and cut on those lines. Try to be as accurate as possible so that you have four nice squares. You don't want to have lopsided squares because then your next origami models that we make <clears throat> won't turn out nicely. And if you have the skill and you remember this from our previous assignments you could actually take this paper and rip it and that might give you a little bit more accurate of a cut. Okay, so when you're done, you should have four smaller squares.